Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this table diffusion tutorial, we're going to see how to do out painting, image out painting using stable diffusion. In this tutorial, is not going to have any technical aspects of it, unlike our previous tutorial. This is purely where you can just run stable diffusion out painting, and I'm going to show you how to run that without any issue. We're not going to get in the technical details. So to start with, I want to just show you the demo of how it works. Uh, right now I'm running it on Google Colab. I don't have my own GPU, which means it takes a little bit of time for it to generate image. But as you can see, there is an image canvas here. So I can um, I can put the box wherever I want. Like I can move the box around. I can keep the box somewhere here. And after I keep the box somewhere here, now I can say um, birds flying eye is something that I tried. An alien, an alien space spaceship. Um, and then I can click out paint. Now what it is going to do is it's going to create an image within that box and it's going to create in such a way that that image is quite relevant with the color combinations um, that you currently have. Like it's it's almost something that can fit in in the place that you have got. And as you can see, um, it has kind of um, kind of done the same thing. Like what I can do is I can again move it, um, go slightly top and then I can say the same thing. Um, so I can say alien spaceship and uh, it's probably going to deform the head of the robot that I've got. But the point is like you can you can uh, you can get the idea of what is happening here. What is out painting? I've already got a separate tutorial explaining out painting using Dali. Um, if you're interested in or if you have Dali access, please check it out. But otherwise, this video is completely free um, collab notebook that somebody has very kindly put together. So to quickly show you. Um, I think it has been uh, it has been put together by Linian. Um, I'm not sure if it is the original name, but uh, I think what they have done is they've implemented uh, out painting using the canvas that is available on Jupyter Notebook. Um, I mean, uh, from the Jupyter Notebook team, the Quantstack team, and uh, they have actually implemented that and then implemented out painting. And uh, th this this is a great job. Um, if you if you really like this work please give a shout out to the developer um so let's let's get started with what what do we have to do so the first thing is you can go to this this um you can go to this google uh, this project and you can click open and collab and once you click that you will be taken to the collab notebook and you can you can actually see the demo if you want and in the demo you can see how fast it is like you can see what uh, the kind of like you can change the prompt and then do this thing so that's a good thing so once you click, it's going to open a Google Collab Notebook. And once you open a Google Collab Notebook, first make sure that you connect with the Google Collab Notebook. When you connect, just make sure that your runtime is GPU runtime. That's the first thing that you need to do. After you do that, install all the required libraries. Like all these things would be like folder like this. Just install all the libraries. Then install uh, import required libraries. Then uh, then is like the Hugging Face authentication. Um, this developer is not giving you model directly. So uh, this has been sourced from Hugging Ways. So when you run this, then you have to go to the, then you have to go to the Hugging Face um, profile page, copy your token um, with the right access, come back here and paste it and uh, that will be done. Next, you need to set up diffusers. This is going to take a bit of time because it's going to download the required models, the diffusers model from Hugging Face Model Hub. And the next setup is, where you set up UI, um, the you, the UI part, and once you have the UI part uh, ready, the next thing is you need to set up the uh, the infin infinite canvas uh, on Google Collab. You can specify here the canvas width, the canvas height, uh, what should be the selection box size. Uh, if you select five twelve, what then there is something. If you select two fifty six, like based on the computation that you have got, based on the GPU that you have got. Um, you, you can make a call about what should be the size if you want to enable uh, if you want to upload an image then you can take this if you want to start with an image but I think like in my case I started with um, with with the prompt in itself after that right now um, there is a little bit of pillow version problem may, may it may not be there by the time you check this project because I've already raised a github, a github issue um, but but for now you can add this line um, and then that would solve the problem. So I'll I'll link the co the Google Collab that I'm using in the YouTube description, um, so you can check it out. So finally, when you run the final cell, um, you would get an empty canvas. 
so now uh, let's start from scratch let's say like um, i have done something uh, and i want to clear it um, so the way like at least like the way i found out to clear it is i go here and then click uh, run the ui control uh, set up the canvas and uh, finally i run the final thing so then i get an empty canvas so the title of this is have fun so when i click the empty canvas now i can actually give um, an image prompt that i want i can give any prompt um, i can go to lexica.art copy a prompt come back here paste it that is that is one possible option but also i can also say um, an, an alien spaceship um, and then i can say outpaint and when i say this thing it's going to create that image for this particular box which is in this case is um, 256 and you can see it's resizing the sd output stable diffusion output to 512 into whatever that we have selected and uh, what is the step size what is the guidance and all those things so now we can move this a little bit and uh, like whatever we want to give next we can we can actually give so like for example here i can say um, uh, closet in the space and it's going to like when i click out paint um, it's going to try to match what we already have like the colors that are within within the square and then it's going to create an image for this prompt and then it's going to fit in there and like that i can create a bigger image like for example you can see it's it's a it's quite um, quite similar uh, but but i mean like i don't know why why i have to give this but um, now i can say um, uh, an an alien um, um, sipping coffee I don't, I don't know if it's going to give anything good but again uh, the the way you do out painting is you can change this um, you can change the tile the the main tile and then you can start giving the prompt and based on which you want this image to be filled in and you can see that all these will at the end like very coherent one single image that you would get uh, together with the main image that you have given and this 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 would also work when you have a theme when you have an idea right now if you see like i'm completely doing it randomly because i wanted to make this video but on the other hand like you can have a proper idea how to do it and then that will help you do so all in all uh, this is a very interesting project like i said it leverages the infinite canvas from uh, jupiter and uh, just implements stable diffusion outpainting i think this is the first work i've seen um, on collab outpainting and uh, this is this is definitely fun to do so just just make sure that you give uh, you give due credit to the developer and also just make sure that you go star the repository um yeah so linian thank you so much for making this repository making it open source and also making it google collab compatible for people like me who do not have gpu but otherwise this is a this is a very interesting project you can do your own out painting any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise happy stable diffusion